clear from the verbatim record that the Honorable Minister of Finance gave two different positions in response to the same question. In our statement, the Honorable Minister of Finance informed the House that the decline in the country's foreign reserves was partly on account of debt service, including coupon interest payments on the euro bonds. In a later statement, she indicated that the government does not use its foreign reserves to service euro bonds, but that the government uses its own earnings common saying that lies have short legs can best describe finance minister margaret monacata's statement on debt servicing while trying to explain the declining foreign exchange reserves miss monacata on 11th december 2018 claimed this was as a result of using the reserves to service the eurobond a statement she backtracked when voluntarily responding to a follow-up question from kapirin poshi lawmaker stanley kakubo her misleading statement, so speak of National Assembly, Dr. Patrick Matibin, declare her as being out of order. Honorable members, upon assessing the Honorable Minister's two statements against the definitions of the word backtrack, mislead, and contradict, it is clear that the Honorable Minister backtracked from her earlier statement that the payment of interest on euro bonds had contributed to the decline in the country's foreign reserves. It is further evident that due to the backtracking, the Honorable Minister uttered contradictory statements on the floor of the House and as a consequence misled the House. The Honorable Minister was therefore out of order. In his ruling, Dr. Matibin further observed that telling lies in Parliament is a criminal offence tied to Section 104 of the Penal Code, which relates to an offence of perjury. Section 16 of the National Assembly, bracket powers and privileges, act, close bracket, makes it an offence for any person to int intentionally mislead the House. It states as follows, and I quote, any person who before the assembly or a committee intentionally gives a false answer to any question material to the subject of inquiry, which may be put to him during the course of any examination, shall be guilty of an offense against section 104 of the penal code. Does this case end here? Transparency International Zambia Executive Director Wesley Chivamba demands that Ms. Monakatwe be punished. We have a whole lot of the Minister of Finance uh, not being truthful when they are being asked about questions about, uh, you know, about debt management. And this is on the floor of the House. So it makes uh, a very, very sad reading and um, we hope that uh, punitive action is going to be taken um, against the Minister of Finance. Uh, is the uh, ruling of the Speaker of the House. We hope that uh, whatever punitive action is required when a member of Parliament misleads the House should be meted out against the Minister of uh, uh, Finance. Also as a lesson to, to, to other members of Parliament, especially those holding um, uh, prestigious offices. Mr. Shibamba also notes that information on government debt contraction and servicing is not properly explained to the taxpayers. There is no transparency when it comes to the issues of debt management in this country. Often the Minister of Finance is on record giving figures that, uh, that are debatable, that, that are not really factual, when it comes to how much exactly we, we, we owe. How much is the sovereign debt that is supposed to be put as a matter of record? The people should know. And how much do we owe as a country in total because there is sovereign debt and there is pipeline debt which is contracted by state-owned enterprises directly? Uh, equally, that debt should be uh, as a matter of public record. We need to know how much foreign debt we have, how much domestic debt we have. All these things are supposed to be given um, uh, to the people. We are the ones who are paying for, for that debt and these uh, issues should be of um, 
uh, public interest and concern and uh, uh, such should be of public record. The Speaker's ruling merely ended with a declaration that the Minister was out of order. Did he need to be asked on what punitive measures he was taking against the Minister, having found her wanting? What Pekumwinda?